Hello everyone and welcome back to Kirby in the Forgotten Land. In this episode, we're going to do a lot of stuff around Wild D Village, starting off with the arena or Coliseum. Derp. Welcome to the Coliseum's reception area. You can enter tournaments here and battle a rush of former bosses. If you make it all the way to the end and come out on top, you'll win a special reward. And that's not all. We seem to have an unexpected warrior using our first tournament as training. All the way from playing a pop star, stuck in this new world like us. That's right, it's Meta Knight. So are you gonna end the tournament too? Please enter. Please enter. I'll do it. We got the Meta Knight Cup, which is gonna be really, um, kind of easy. Yeah, kind of not. It's interesting. Let's do this. Okay, you officially entered the Meta Knight Cup. It's about to get tense in there. I can't wait. The entrance of the Coliseum is right over here. Prepare for some tough battles. And get moving. Okay, let's do this thing. Meta Knight Cup! So, oh my lord, they're giving me time crash ASAP. Um, I'm not gonna take it only for the sake of using uh, Volcano Fire because um, I'm gonna save Sword for the very end. Just for the sake of um, stuff. Anyway, we're gonna fight Waddle... Uh, Waddle. Wild Frosty first, who's gonna go down pretty easily, because the bosses in this take a lot, um, are a lot easier to take down than usual. So that's always a good thing for a bot for this, because it's meant to be the first tournament. They don't want to gate block you ASAP. They want to make, they want to steer you, like, they just want to gently let you in to it all. Which makes sense, because, um, if you do want to, uh, I'll get, I'll dive into that a bit later. Let's just say it, the arena can come in handy. And we're good there, so... Let's move on to the next one. Which is against... Ah, uh, yes! Going up against our first boss. Oh, I took damage! I didn't notice that, but anyway, Tropical Woods! Rematch time! So first of all, just gonna quickly just spray him with this. With the Volcano Fire, because that is... This is stupid good against the poor guy. I'm sorry, Tropical Woods. <coughs> I am so sorry, except not not whenever you use this move. This move is obnoxious. And then you just do a giant gust. Okay, get him with this. <laughs> okay, good. So far, so good. Ah, crud. Almost got him. Almost got him. And he's done. Okay, already we're doing really well. Only a minute in. <laughs> yeah, this arena is not that hard. Gotta be careful. Anyway, on to the next one. We're gonna fight, um, Gigan Edge and I believe the Tornado one, which whose name I can't remember, sadly. Or Wild Edge in this case, the Elemental Hero. Man, this Elemental Hero retrain is sick as heck. Admittedly though, that Elemental Hero support, I am... I can't wait for it. It's gonna be incredible. Whenever it finally comes out. It's coming out in August as well. So at the tail end of summer, which, hey, by then I'll have saved up for more... More than enough for a booster box, and I looked up the Japanese rarities for some of the cards as well. A lot of the ones I'm wanting are low rarity, so I'm stupid happy about that. Anyway, uh, oh right, Florina. Ah uh, yes, uh, Florina's Pegasus turned into a swan. My mind goes to, if it's not Yu-Gi-Oh, it goes to Fire Emblem. If it doesn't go to Fire Emblem, it goes to whatever else. <laughs> anyway, now we're gonna have to have a rematch with Claroline, which is gonna be fun. Because Clarline, admittedly, I'd like to say she's a glass cannon of a boss where she can dish out some major punishment, but she can't really take too much. Because she's one of the easier bosses to defeat normally if you dodge all of her moves. But if you do get hit, uh, it's gonna do some damage. Anyway, ah, oh, crud, she's- Ah, oh, man, she's gonna jump off of- Jump before- Ah, oh, man! I was hoping I'd be able to get the fire on her so whenever she does this, um, she'll still get injured. Yeah, careful. Good, good, good. Okay, spray and pray, spray and pray. Come on. Good. Oh, right, if it's not fire, I'm lit. my mind defaults into Star Wars. <laughs> oh, man. Anyway, Clara Line's down. So now, we gotta fight Gorimondo again. I know I've been using Volcano Fire a lot for this, but it's literally like the best one for boss rushes. Because its DPS is literally incredible. Anyway, Gorimondo, prepare to go- Ow! <laughs> he just slapped me. Gosh dang it, Gorimondo. <laughs> okay, good. 
Doing good. Just gotta get the burn. Like, just burn him. Careful. Because now he's gonna go and try and attack. Oh, yeah, he's gonna do his DK swirl. Or spin. Careful. Got this, Kirby. So let's just now burn him up again. And we're good. Gorimondo is down already. Sick. Sorry, Gorimondo. You're cool, though. And let's see what we're gonna get. Ah, uh, yes. Some Powerade and some money. Sick. So now into the final battle against Meta Knight. Oh, man. This isn't his best fight, I'd... but it's one of his better ones. So let's grab the sword and let's get this over with. Or not over with, let's get this. Oh, it looks sick as heck. The Lone Swordsman Meta Knight. Oh man, let's do this thing because this fight is super good. Okay. Yeah, be sure you block when you can because Meta Knight can do some serious damage. Like that. Like, good lord. I cannot imagine that hit hitting me. Okay, careful. Eh. Okay, doing some good damage so far. There's a good reason why I'm using the sword though. Now. Mainly for a nice little Easter egg, I want to, I really want to show off. Ow! Okay, careful. Okay, now he's gonna do this! Yes! Okay, spam B, spam B, spam B! Come on! Got it! So now, drop this, and you can take Galaxia, and use it against him. So now, Matt and I will have only one other option. Use his sword from Kirby's Adventure. Because he did have Galaxia. No, he didn't even have Galaxia in that game. No, he just had this plain sword and he brings it back and his damage output is still really good. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love that little Easter egg. Okay, good. So now let's take him down. Because so far we're doing a good. We're doing good. Okay, careful. Though if you do disarm him a, a second time. Oh shoot, okay, did that move. <laughs> If you, just, if you do disarm him a second time, he won't default to a different sword. He'll just grab the same kind. But it's really cool to know that Meta Knight kept his old sword around after all these years. Makes me also wonder if Kirby characters even do age. I don't know. I don't know. Kirby lore is, int is intriguing. Okay, now he's going to do this move. But yeah. This ability is literally so good for this time of the game. But anyway, Meta Knight is now down. Hanging down by his own sword, that's gotta blow. Bye, bud. You're still cool, though, and there we go! Gosh, I love the wildy with glasses. Oh, a stunning victory over the Lone Swordsman Mennonite! Uh, over the Lone Swordsman Mennonite. Kirby wins! Congratulations on winning uh, on a stunning victory, Kirby. Here's the hard won reward 500 star coins! And a dream stone, no, and a rare stone. Man, I want to call it a dream stone. Anyway, Meta Knight Sword Blueprint is now here. That means we can actually get it now. And this has, like, really good damage early on, and it's already the third stage. Um, it's already a third stage power, uh, power up, so it's... Oh, it's doing me so good. Oh, Alright, I'll upgrade that for you. There are some cases where Gigan Edge can still come in handy. But in this case... Meta Knight Sword is the best we've got for, like, um, raw DPS. Outside of Volcano Fire, because Volcano Fire is busted. And anyway, now the Wild D is going to go and upgrade our sword. Ayo! We might not be able to play as Meta Knight, but at least he's here in spirit. A. Kirby's eyes are still yellow, though. I know it's a, for a Meta Knight reference, but his eyes are blue. Oh, well. So now, we gotta do some mini-games. So let's go to the cafe. Oh, hey, Kirby, got a sack. Uh, now the Wild E Cafe is open, we're looking to hire some help. It's just a part-time gig, though. I don't suppose you're looking to start a career in food service, are ya, Kirby? Are you, Kirby? Alright, so let's go do a solo gig and do the easy one. Oh boy, let's do this. This is actually going to be really tough. Not the first one though, but every other one is going to be rough. So now, what we got to do is just look at the customers and keep them happy till the game, till, it, till it's over. 
So let's see. Powerade. Maximum, maximum tomato. Maximum tomato. Powerade. Uh, Powerade. Maximum tomato. Uh, tomato. Powerade. Okay. Good lord. I'm getting flashbacks to my job. <laughs> oh boy. Especially in rush hour. That. 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 Gotcha. At least Kirby's doing with a smile on his face. Uh oh. Oh man, why is it three o'clock? <laughs> okay, get that. I love how Kirby, how Kirby starts sweating whenever we gotta deal with all the lunch rush guys. Oh lord. Where's Kirby's help? He needs help, dude. He can't do this by himself. Okay, got that, got that. 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 Okay, we're good. And we served the crud ton of wildies. Okay, 34, nice. And I got no wrong orders and all that. A. And I got 88 star. Dang, all that effort. And <laughs> for barely anything. <laughs> anyway, on to the next gig. So let's go select difficulty. Okay, so now we can do Hustle and Frenzy Gig. We're doing Hustle first. Just to ease myself into it, because now we have another item to serve. And the time is going to go down faster, so we got to be careful and be always on our knees. Or, not, not on knees, but I guess. Uh, on our feet, I guess. I mean, does Kirby have knees? That's actually a really good question. <laughs> okay, that. That. Well, obviously not. He's just a pink puffball. Then everyone tries and ruins, it tries to describe the anatomy of Kirby. Well, guess what? He has no anatomy aside from being a puffball. It's like trying to describe the anatomy of Rayman. You don't do that. Okay, that's, oh man, the sweat from Kirby is, oh my lord. I feel the stress, buddy. I know the stress. Okay, that, that. Been on top of this though, though if you get if you don't stay on top of things for a moment, the time bar just goes by just goes down stupid fast. But anyway, we're good. We're all good. And we serve a total of 31 of these guys, and oh wow, got a bigger high score too. Sick. And got even more star coins. You know, that's more like it. Now on to the one that I had to redo over and over and over and over again when I first did it. The Frenzy Gig. Oh boy. Hi. Okay, let's do this. So first of all, what you want to do is get as much time that you possibly can early on. Because good lord, you're gonna need when the ru lunch rush comes in. Because the lunch rush... Oh my lord, the lunch r Shoot, I failed. Beep it, I'm retrying. Okay, so this one is actually pain. Like, in actually pain. Because it's so tough, man. It's actually... It's actually insane how tough this can be. Early on, though, it's fine. It's like everything else. That that one lunch rush hits. We'll get to that. Lunch rush hits. Oh my gosh, it gets so, so stinking difficult. It's not even funny. Okay, got that. That. Maxim. And now all heck is gonna break loose, man. Let's do this. That's that. Okay, car mouth again. Powerade. Car mouth. Oh shoot, messed him up. It's okay. It's okay. I can I can bounce back. Bounce back. Bounce back. Bounce back. Uh, car mouth. Powerade. Car mouth. That. Oh man. Okay, just like a normal fast food, you're not gonna. S oh my gosh. You're not going to make everyone happy. Oh, there we go. I don't even care. I got the lowest score yet. We did it. That's all that matters is that we did, that we did it. Let's end this gig, dude. <laughs>
Uh, thank you for your hard work, Kirby. Hope you can help us out again. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, you helped us out late, lately and you handle friends like a pro, so, uh, here you go. You're a special figure, buddy. It's of the chef! Oh, it's Chef Kirby! Yay! Okay, so now let's go talk to the other chef. Because one thing I want to do quite a bit is that I want to buy snacks from him because this is actually essential for completion. I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. It's actually essential for completion. So we're just going to buy a burger and take it to go. I'm going to keep doing that every now and then. You know what? I actually want to show off the animation too for it. So let's go buy a car mouth. Buy that. And now we're going to go eat it here. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoy it, buddy. Now we're going to go eat it with Elflin. Gosh, I love Elflin. It's so cute. There we go. All good. And one thing I also want to see. Let's see. Uh, oh, right. We got to talk to the um, guy right here. Uh, hey there, this is Waldy Deliveries, where we bring delivery presents right to your door. And just enter any present codes you find, and we'll ship the related presents in, in and drop them by your house. Speaking of codes, there are a few present codes hidden right here in town! Also, the, some present codes are shared through online announcements. We can ho hop online to claim those. Uh, no thank you for the online stuff, but... Let's see how it works. Sure you do, I hid a present code on the wall. M on the wall of the house across from us. Go check on that wall. Please. Please check the wall. Check the wall. <laughs> Any present codes you find in town can be entered and claimed offline. Pretty nifty, eh? Make sure you ask first. Do you already have present codes you'd like to enter? Not yet. So what we want to do first is go over here. Elfin will tell us. Okay, so first password. In all caps. Because of course. Alright, so let's go do this. Connect online. And now we're just going to put down this code. Okay, so... First... Password. And we're good. Now it's going to show up in front of our house, so we got to go collect that whenever we're able. So let's get moving. And, like this, and we got some coins, pretty good, 100 star coins, like that. And now what we're gonna go do is go up to Meta Knight, weirdly enough, because he gives us a password too. Let's do that. Alright, uh, where is he, where are you, oh, oh shoot, he's not here. Oh, he won't show up till a little bit. Okay, so we can't do that password yet. Not till Mennonite shows up. So anyway... Anything over here? Oh, okay, I guess we're not gonna get anything yet unless... Okay, I thought I could get some codes early on, but I guess I can only do first password so far. Oh well. But anyway, guys, uh... Actually, wait, before I end the episode, I wanna do a quick look around again. Oh, right! I need to show off one more thing! Kirby's house! I haven't shown that off yet. So here we are. It's a very nice and cozy place. And let's go read a book. Which will show all of Kirby's past adventures um, from Triple Deluxe and onwards. So we've got Star Allies, which I haven't played yet, but I know it's decent. Uh, f uh Fighters 2. Oh, Kirby Clash. I was talking about certain Kirby games before. And this was the RPG one that I forgot about. Yeah, I heard Kirby Clash is good despite being um, pay to play sometimes. We got Epic Yarn, of course it's extra Epic Yarn, which is not as good as normal one apparently. Battle Royale, which is perfectly fine. Blowout Blast, one of the side games from Robobot. Clash Deluxe, another side game from Robobot. Planet Robobot, oh my gosh. This game is still incredible, like, oh my lord, it's so good, dude. If you have a 3DS, buy Ro Robobot, please. You won't regret it. Anyway, uh, we got Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, a game I still need to get one day. Fighters Deluxe. Uh, expanded version of a side game from Triple Deluxe. 
Diddy Drum Dash, another expanded side game from Triple Deluxe. And then Triple Deluxe! Which is a game that it's it's pretty, it's a darn good Kirby game. And another game I highly recommend for anyone with a 3DS. But anyway, let's go take a quick nap though. And get some good sleep. Oh my gosh, this is just so adorable. And normally I'll just give you a full health restore. And also we got a few other paintings that we can look at real quick. Because we got um the Waddle D Cafe one. And we got one versus Meta Knight. Very nice. So everyone, that's gonna wrap up this episode of Kirby and the Forgotten Land. In the next episode, we're gonna go to the next world of the game. So thank you so much for watching and have a good day, guys. Bye!